I want to put out uh, one more reminder, those of you who you've thought like, I just I always wanted to work for The Blaze. Well, uh, we're hiring. You can go check out our job openings at theblaze.com slash jobs. My team in particular is uh, hiring a couple different positions. So make sure that you check that out. I mean, you know, flattery is helpful in your cover letter. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not really kidding. Uh, so make sure you check it out, theblaze.com slash jobs. If you feel like you are so qualified, I want to welcome to the show Matthew Marsden, Blaze TV contributor and actor and producer extraordinaire, um, who is overqualified for those positions. Mm -hmm. But Maybe I not. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, I wish, I wish that you could uh, just go down to my level. Oh, about, yeah. Well, about, you know, I slum my, it now and then. Could be my, you could be my PA. I could, you could bring you, you me could, coffee. Listen, I can't take that. Uh, I've seen the way you treat people. You're a tyrant. <laughs> You're like, green M&Ms! I told you green M&Ms! I see the way they cower. It's on it. Honestly, she's a tyrant. <laughs> that's, I think that's just me. <laughs> yeah, that's just Stephen. <laughs> I said green M&Ms! <laughs> Oh like my god. In the gosh. corner going, don't hit me. Please don't, Please not don't again. No, we're all a big happy family here and it's a lot of fun. Um, so I want to uh I want to play a little bit of what happened over the weekend when Donald Trump, the I was just talking to Brianna Morello, the most politically persecuted man in the country, Donald Trump. Uh, appearing at the UFC fight in New Jersey over the weekend. This was Saturday night. I want to show the uh, the the huge ovation from the stadium there. Watch. Costa also with us tonight. 45. Being ushered in by UFC CEO Dana White. Donald Trump is in the building and the former president getting a standing ovation from the assembled masses here at UFC 302. Very excited. They are very excited to see Donald Trump. Um, and then I want to play one more clip here from the UFC fight. So the winner, I did, did he win over the weekend, Sean Strickland? I'm told okay. yes. Okay, all right. So, um, so I want to play him after he won talking to Donald Trump in his speech. Watch. President Trump, you're the man, bro. It is a damn travesty what they're doing to you. I'll be donating to you, my man. Let's get it done. Get it done. Congratulations, sir. Sean Strickland, ladies and gentlemen. So I read a headline that since that happened at the end of last week, that they have now raised like $200 million for Donald Trump's campaign. I'm not surprised. And yet, if you watch the mainstream media, they'll also tell you that people are less likely to vote for it. That's him, what I don't get. It ha that ha not true. It, ha it has to be not true, right? Of course I'm it's not true. How can you raise that much money and then have uh, the majority of Republicans saying, oh, well, now he's a felon? Well, yeah, because they weaponize the system against him. Well, that's what they do, though, don't they? They just keep repeating, repeating, repeating the lies and they hope it will stick. You know, I mean, it was it was because I, I was actually there um, at, in New York this weekend and it was amazing, actually. So I, I did a little I'd never done it before, which was very challenging for me to do uh, X spaces. And as I walked to Trump Tower and it was funny because people were saying, oh, are, are you afraid? I'm like, why would I be afraid of a bunch of Trump people? These aren't the ones that go violently right. smashing things up, you know, it, apart from what they say about January the 6th, which, again, people just walked around very peacefully for the most part. Uh, uh, but people there were very, very positive. They're very positive about Trump. And look, at the end of the day, you saw that UFC, right? They tell you, they tell you that 81 million votes, which was always a lie. Yeah. It was always a lie. But we don't, we, we shouldn't be complacent about it. And this is not the end. They're going to keep coming. Mm -hmm. And it worries me because I think that we all know that they cannot let him win. Right. They cannot let him win because he is going to take an absolute flamethrower to the establishment and they're terrified. So people, it's going to get very, very, very sticky and it's going to get worse. And you know what? You know what's interesting? I do want to make this point. He knew because when we were on the show, do you remember? And he said, they would even, Mother Teresa would yeah. even get, 
Yep, he did. He knew. I know. And we said, I was like, I don't like that. I That seems like he's resigned himself to the fact that they are going to do whatever it takes to find him guilty and imprison him. That was the moment that he was like, what can I do? My hands are tied. He, he knew. He did. And look, and we, and we all were thinking, well, you know, I know I spoke to Matt Peterson because uh, he was coming out to New York. And, and um, I said, oh, you know, they've they've just cut it short. So everyone on the other channels as well at Fox and whatever was saying, well, they're going to come back another day. Right. They're going to come back right. the next day because they couldn't figure it out. And when it came out mm-hmm. guilty, it was like. What? I know. I know. I, I had more faith in humanity than that. I, I honestly did. I was like, OK, cool. It was quick, which means they were like, yeah, there's no case here. So let's just go home. We don't want to stay here over the weekend. And then I was like, well, I had too much. That's my mistake. Next time I won't have that much faith in humanity. That's my that's on me. My bad. Um, so I want to. So speaking of that, I want to play uh, Donald Trump. Uh, he gave his first interview since all of this had happened, since he had been found guilty. Um, unfortunately, it was on Fox News and not Sarah Gonzalez Unfiltered, but maybe someday it can be Sarah Gonzalez Unfiltered and not Fox News, who, by the way, doesn't like him, so he should stop giving airtime to Fox News. But uh, he talked about potential jail time, and here's what he had to say. They could, the judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. Kind of face it could. what that could look I'm like. okay with it. I saw... One of my lawyers the other day on television saying, oh, no, you don't want to do that to the president. I said, don't, you don't beg for anything. You just, the way it is. I love that man. He is hardcore. Like, I retweeted that and said, like, what a baller. And that's, Seriously. That's why all, the, all those guys at UFC, all the guys at UFC, what, why are they there for? They're going to see gladiators in the arena that will punch each other in the face and then get up afterwards and shake hands yep. for the most part because that is a masculine thing, right? And they look at Trump and that's what they see. They see a guy that is never giving in. We've said this before. I don't know if I could do that at his age. I, I, I could. I mean, I... Look, I said before he before he formally announced that he was running again, I was like... Why would you want to pass the torch to someone else? You don't have to deal with the media going after you for the next four years. You don't have to deal with any of this crap. You don't have to deal with them going after you, you know, in the justice system. Just go be with your, you know, your family. And he chose to step up and he hasn't backed down. And there is, again, I say, I love that man. I don't mean like... I'm going to back him no matter what. I've been critical of him where I need to be critical of him, I think. I've been critical. I still don't like the way he handled COVID. I don't like that he has not admitted that he was wrong there. There are a litany of things that I could list right now that I don't appreciate about him. But the fact that they are going after him with 91 indictments and he is still like, whatever happens, happens. I'm like, there is something that you have to respect about that. Yeah, and also he's the most transparent president we've ever had. I think he's, he's probably the most transparent politician we've ever had because what you see is what you get. And look, we all know that people make mistakes, people get bad advice. I think now we've seen the way that the deep state is moving against him. Yeah. Makes his presidency a little bit more understandable. Right. right. right? You're kind of like, well, yeah, I mean, who was advising him? You've seen the Republicans stab him in the back mm-hmm. and everyone's going, hang on a second, like, even it, look, it's parenting 101, right? Like when you're talking to your kids, you go, hey, listen, we're having a unified front on this, right. even though we might disagree with right. what one or the other parents say. That's the way it's meant to be, yeah. right? You're meant to put a unified front, whether it's right or wrong, yeah. right? Look, when Donald Trump was first running, and I, I give Matt Peterson a hard time about this because I said immediately he was going to win, right? Because anyone that knows anything about entertainment and, and the culture, they'll understand that he was a phenomenon. Mm-hmm. But people were like, he's not pro-life. I went, <coughs> once they attack him on pro, being pro-life, he will be the most pro-life president in history. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. Like you prod the bear and he's going to go, right? really? Right. All right, I'm going to do this then. And he is, by the way. he does. He he is now. He He is is now the most pro-life president in history because you have to judge him by his actions and what his actions caused, not flippant remarks that he makes on the campaign trail. And that's all. If you Come on, guys. Like We know what Trump is like. It's the art of the deal. He'll say something, then pull it back. He'll move around. If you don't understand what he's like right now, I don't know what to say to you, right? We all know what he's like. Uh, but, But I think now that what you are seeing is a man that is 
he's going to be a great man. He's already a great man. But I mean, I think he's destined for real greatness because saying that like you can imprison me. He's mo- he's you just this is a different that. level. I know. It's a different I know. level. I know. You I'm there you just like you have to res- if you can't respect him saying that you're you're just broken like you're suffering from TDS I think because at his at, like as you said at his age to just be like whatever happens happens is like I don't even I, I I couldn't deal with that at my age imagine dealing with that at his age I, I just there is something to be you know uh, commended um, in that regard right really right all right I'm gonna do this then. And he is, by and the he way. Does. He does. He is now. He, he is, is now the most does. pro-life president in history because you have to judge him by his actions and what his actions caused, not flippant remarks that he makes on the campaign trail. And that's all. If you come on, guys, like we know what Trump is like. It's the art of the deal. He'll say something, then pull it back. He'll move around. If you don't understand what he's like right now, I don't know what to say to you. Right? We all know what he's like, uh, but but I think now that what you are seeing is a man that is. He's going to be a great man. He's already a great man. But I mean, I think he's destined for real greatness because saying that like you can imprison me. He's mo- he's you just this is a different that. level. I know. It's a different I know. level. I know. You I'm there you just like you have to res- if you can't respect him saying that, you're you're just broken. Like you're suffering from TDS, I think. Because at his at, like as you said, at his age to just be like Whatever happens, happens. It's like, I don't even, I, I, I couldn't deal with that at my age. Imagine dealing with that at his age. I, I just, there is something to be, you know, uh, commended um, in that regard. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here.